In movies, a hero will be shot in the gun and he'll drop it with a hiss. In video games, you can shoot guns out of characters' hands and in airsoft, a hit to the gun is an out. A lot of pseudoscience going on out there for something that can be answered with real science. Today on Grantham, we answer the question once and for all, can a rifle stop a bullet and save your life? Now, the biggest sponsor of this channel is the Sonoran Desert Institute. Go and check them out. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, they are the resource to go to. Go and check them out. A big thank you to them. Thank you, Sonoran Desert Institute. Now, this particular video is sponsored by NordVPN. We'll talk about them in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, my often forgotten, but most certainly not by me, ballistics. Welcome to the channel. Let's talk about it. So we have a question. Can this rifle stop a bullet and save your life? So we have our ballistic dummy right here. If you come and take a look at it, Micah, you can see this is not a human being. Um, this it might be deceiving, but it's very close. We have bones, we have organs that simulate different organ densities, and we have the ballistic gelatin, which of course simulates skin, fat, and muscle. There's no nipples. Evolution does weird things, my friend. We're gonna have our rifle, of course, in front of it. Now, for these rifles, we do have Stag. Stag was kind enough to donate a few rifles to do this test. And a big thank you to them to certain politicians who might be happy at seeing these beautiful rifles destroyed. I will say to you that this video will sell far more rifles and arm far more citizens than any of the rifles we will ever destroy on this channel. Also, if you ever call this a modern sporting rifle, your wife, your girlfriend or your hentai waifu has a boyfriend who is more of a man than you are. Now with our rifles, we'll be shooting the lower and upper receivers. So to start off with, we do have an AKM from Meridian and this has a whip machine suppressor. Has your standard 7.62 by 39, just full metal jacket. We'll be going over to URGI with M855, provided for Norma ammunition and a big thank you to them. They are our ammo sponsor. Now, after we've done those two rifles, we do have some questions. We have some buckshot out of a trusty Mossberg 590A1. Now, if for any reason the dummy has survived, we have, of course, the trusty M1 Grand to do what it does best, and that's to send people to meet their god. First shot, nine yards, Glock 17, low receiver. Talk is cheap, ammunition is expensive. Let's do this. All right, science has occurred. Let's go check it out. <laughs> so of course I had to put one through the magazine just to test things out. And uh, that is extremely interesting. Uh, so let's check under. Oh, look at all the gunpowder. Gun yeah, it's gunpowder. So you can see the one that went through the magazine, that's interesting, didn't really stop it at all. That just went straight through. Um, now the receiver, it did stop it. So that is actually really cool. Let's, there, there is zero chance. I can see the jacket in there, but as you can see with a nine millimeter, guys, 100% that stopped it. Magazine kind of screwed at that point. However, I will say the Sag Arms receiver, what, what level would that put it at? Like th level three, level three A? At least, three. <laughs> at least level three A, right? Or one could say that this actually performs better than steel body armor. AKM, 25 meters, shooting at the AR-15. We did the AKM through the magazine, and then we did the AK through the upper receiver. <laughs> okay, so obviously just like the nine mil, the, uh, the uh, magazine had offered no resistance, but, oh gross. But the upper receiver, as you can see, it smoked straight through it right there. You could see that it kinda, when it hit the bull carrier, it didn't look like it dented it, but the upper receiver itself, which is 
aluminum, of course, uh, it went straight through. And then you can see the amount of material that it then pushed through cracking the sternum and didn't travel in the, uh, actually, yeah, it actually did travel pretty far. That's straight into the heart. Shot to the heart. Cue music. <laughs> now, obviously, this is a bad day for you. But at the very least, as the footage surfaces of the shooting, that you look great in your honored research plaid sling. Now, the question is, can I rack the bolt? The question is, can I mortar the bolt? Let's try it. That's, uh, that's a no-go right there. That gun is hard down. Well, at least we know that transition to your pistol is always faster. Now, I'm really interested to see what the 5.56 will do, specifically the M855, which is a armorish piercing round with a um, penetrator. Now, I'm tr gonna try and put a shot through the uh, bolt because I don't think anything's gonna go through it. Now, my rifle is sighted in for 100, so we're going to uh, shout out to Kentucky Ballistics, Kentucky Windage It which is surprising because they don't know math. So we had that dead impact right on the bolt carrier group. I'm interested to see what happens. You can see all that smoke coming off of it. Did you see that, Micah? Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, so there's the impact from the SS-109 M855. Funny yeah. we saw the smoke coming yeah. out the hole in the back. Here, you can you still see smoke it. coming out there. I think it's um, just probably aluminum and powder and smoke from the uh, from the impact and all that but like so you can see the impact into oh, wow. the bolt carrier right right there so it impacted that bolt carrier group dead on and um, if you flip it over it did stop you can see the projectile broke up in there but like bolts and bolt carriers man they Hold on, I got you yeah. Right yeah. bolts and bolt carriers man they are tough they're extremely tough uh, made of extremely tough metal so I kind of expected it but it's still SS-109, which kind of surprised me, you know? I think it really depends on like where you're impacting the rifle. Yeah, you're the safest with the bolt for sure. Yeah, if you hit that bolt, you are good to go. But I mean, 100% hitting like the lower receiver, like you're just smoking straight through. Um, I might try to get a shot right on the barrel. What do you think? Like maybe out the like front sight post or well, something? Technically we haven't hit the lower with the rifle round yet. Ooh, that is a good point. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, Hit the uh, lower of the rifle round, see what happens. I'm gonna, and after maybe the barrel. We'll see. Well, this is actually very disturbing. So we put through two through the upper receiver right here. <laughs> it's uh, just oh. Did it go through the bolt? Yeah. Uh, oh, is that the weak part of the bolt? Yeah, the weak part at the back, the tail, and it looks like it just bulged it out. You can see how it bulged out the upper receiver right there. Yeah. How interesting. Looks like it struck part of the hammer as well. But you can see all the all the matter, like you are dead, dead at that point. And like, <laughs> you looks like you are very, very dead. 5.56 five, is violent, dude. Modern sporting rifle, my ass. I know it was on a lower receiver hit, but at the same time, it's that thin aluminum right there. If it's gonna go through there, it's 100% gonna go through the lower. Now we're gonna take a quick break. Talk about a sponsor of this video, NordVPN. A really big thank you to them for sponsoring this content. Now, if you're not familiar with NordVPN, there's a lot of really cool things about it. Anything from the fact that it's an easy one-click connect or you can have a zero-click auto connect when it comes to your VPN. There are over 5,500 plus servers all around the world in over 60 countries. You're gonna find the one that works best for you or that's in a location that gives you better content. You can select that one with your VPN. Not to mention NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there, confirmed by multiple speed tests and you can test it out yourself. And beyond this, this is offered on multiple devices, anything from your Windows to your Macs to your Androids. The NordVPN works on those major platforms for you. Now, if you wanna support the channel, Go to the following link, nordvpn.com forward slash grand. Now to be clear, when you buy a two year plan, you do get an additional month free. Not to mention there is a 30 day money back guarantee. As a big thank you to them, please scroll down, check out the link in the description, click through, 
give them a look. We really have to thank them for sponsoring this content and keeping this stuff going. So get down there, check out that link. Thank you so much, guys. Let's get back to finding out if these rifles are gonna stop these rounds. And what I'm really interested in is the quad rail. How will the quad rail perform? Because according to the Giga Chads out there, the quad rail is the end all be all when it comes to AR-15. So let's find out. Do you like cack rails? I like cack rails quite a bit. And I figured that people would be angry if I didn't use one of the stronger rails out there on this test. So today, to test the quad rail gang, we have the CAC quad rail that is of course clone specific. So very nice rail, uh, very well made. And I'm very interested to see how it does in terms of stopping rounds. Are you interested, Micah? I'm very interested. Yeah, same. All right. Have you seen that video where they take the, the block two and they drop it out of a helicopter and run over it and detonate C4? Oh yeah, Dan, uh, Larry, Vickers. Larry Vickers. Yeah. Larry, help. <laughs> Man, it is always a bad day. That was a beautiful strike on the uh, cack rail right there. Did it survive? So we have two hits. Wow. That is really cool. Okay. So the first hit, testing to see if the rail could stop it right there. Now you can see that smoke straight through the rail and sent all the debris straight in. You can see the ribs sticking out. So, um, so, so obviously the rail did not stop it at all. Now, here's what's really interesting, Micah. So this impact right here went straight through and actually impacted the barrel. And you can see where it scored off of the barrel. And that's Deflected. where I saw the spark come off of that huge puff of smoke. If we flip it over, it looks like went through the gas tube and there's the round right there. The round that went off the barrel, you can see it right oh, inside it, there. It stopped it. Yeah, so the round that went that hit the barrel and struck lost all the energy and got stopped right there. So, I mean, I guess what we can say about stacked barrels is that rated higher than steel armor. MOA test it now? Oh, this rifle? Yeah. Ah, clearly a uh, half MOA. <laughs> the question is, is it still, uh, Holy. Yo, I mean, it's not gonna. You know what we do? We use our remote firing rig we have built over there that, that Christian made us. Oh shit. Let's shoot it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, we weren't really planning on doing this, but uh, science has to take the front seat here. So science has a wheel right now. We have a remote firing rig, and uh, we're on safe right now. Tie a knot, and you know what they say about knots, and that's if you don't know a knot, tie a lot. <laughs> That'll do it, we're on safe. Uh, are we really doing this? I mean, you are. <sighs> okay. Hold on, let me get back here. Back, right? It'll be fine. Oh shit! Yeah. I mean, it, it didn't eject the because the gas. Is, but hold. Are you gonna do that? Yeah. Don't die, please. You know what? It's a bolt action, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, stag arms and knight's armament. M16 Giga Chads represent because you guys are once again the winners. And you guys always will be. Because if you're strong enough to carry an M16, well, in my mind, you're a man. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and finish this test off. We're gonna take some buckshot straight to the receiver and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Oh, this is a familiar sight, Grantham and shotguns. How interesting. Those are some good shots right there. Did we get him? It stopped it. <gasps> Kinda. No, it did. It did. Huh. 
Stag Arms M16, impervious to buckshot. This impact right there went into the magwell. We didn't have a mag in this guy. The magwell actually stopped it. Without the mag. Yeah, without the mag, dude. And then uh, this one impacted between the upper and lower receivers uh, and started impacting into the bull carrier group right there along with a couple other uh, pieces of buck. And looks like it bulged it right there, but that probably lost a ton of velocity. I would say this gun is now inoperable, but 100%. This gun could stop buckshot, if you, except for the other pellets that hit you, but beyond that, it could possibly save your life, especially right over the heart. What an interesting video. You know, I wasn't sure what we were gonna get going into this, how well the rifles would do at stopping rounds, and it entirely depends on where it hits it, but overall, if you're hitting around the bolt carrier group, well, on an AR-15 at, at least, or in some cases, like a nine millimeter on a loaded magazine, the rifle's able to stop that. Now, the rifle is inoperable, except for that one shot we had on the rail, where that quad rail and that barrel just straight up stopped that round. Pretty incredible overall, wouldn't you say, Micah? That was, that blew my mind. So, can a rifle stop a bullet and save your life? It depends, but possibly yes. And the rifle could still possibly function. Incredible results. And that's what we like to bring you here on Grand Thumb. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all this stuff is cool, all these rifles are cool, but the thing that matters is knowledge and training. Make sure that you get knowledge and training. Tons of great places out there. Cogworks, Bear Solutions, Haley Strategic, Pat McNamara. Get out there, train yourself, make yourselves weapons. And as always, guys, we appreciate you, we love you, and stay tuned for more awesome content on Grand Thumb. Final thing for you guys. <clears throat> Don't worry about trends. Don't worry about what's cool. If you have a sling. Except for our sling. If you, if you have a rifle that's a little bit older, maybe a little bit out of date, that's okay if you don't have the money to upgrade it because you know what matters more? Training. Make sure that you train. Make sure that you make yourselves a weapon, guys. I know I harp on it a lot. Don't, trace, don't chase fads. Don't do anything like that. Just get out there. Use your stuff. Become proficient because there's a lot more to fighting back beyond just being a good shot on the range. There's a lot more. Train yourselves.